side of you. Anything you speak, it happen. Some of our African people, they know how to fast. They fast, but they don't deal with the life. They fast and fast for some days, but they don't deal with the problem. They expect that to happen in itself because they are fasting. It's not like that. It's not like that. You have to deal with your character. You have to deal with your character. Yeah, yeah, you are, you are still here. Nobody knows, but God knows. You will, oh, we all know, know but, uh, but when the word of God does make you, you remain the way to come in you is gone. The way to come, the way to come in you is gone. It doesn't build you up. But when you keep dealing with your character and love the word of God, you find yourself a thing. Oh, you don't know. The other thing it run into say, boy, come, can you find a thing has gone? Oh, this thought has gone. When you are deal with your character, it's not in fasting only. It's in dealing with your character. The sign that we always say, anything is alive to grow. Even you, when you have God in you, you have to grow. So that sign forward faith is alive. That's I'm saying, a sign that forward faith is alive is growing.
Um Jehovah, every man go. Um Jehovah, every man go. Akeko, onga fala. Um Jehovah, every man go. Um Jehovah.
was the father of many nations. Oh yes. So we are going to sing this Nigerian songs, something that says Igwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't know it, just speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Kosaba bire. Kosiba bire. Come on solo lubire. Igwe. Kosaba bire. Kosi baba be re, come on tolo lu be re. Igwe, iba mi toro ru chobi obala toga. Edu mare oba toga. Everybody, obala oba toga. Edu mare. Igwe. I want to teach you a 
little something. When Nigerians they are going Igwene, they go all the way. Metro. So we two. want to do it the way they do it. It's two. Igwe. Willow, 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 willow. Igwe. Willow. Igwe. And it's got. Willow, okay. willow, willow, willow. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are in a celebration mode. At this moment in time, all the bishops, uh, the apostles, and the overseers are requested uh, to uh, go out through the main entrance. Um, and we are as well reminding us uh, that if you are within this auditorium, Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we continue? Take your name, Take off our phones if you are in this auditorium. That's right. Continue. Hallelujah. We are continuing. Hallelujah. Kaiye so amahala na wakushaba ulaba wine ilaba wa mahala ayanga na ine ala la kutobi shakuhanya na kuhanisa alobosi kaiye so amahala na wakushaba ulaba wine ilaba wa mahala ayanga na ine ala la kutobi shakuhanya
Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. This kind God, oh, oh yes, have never seen your type. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This kind God, oh, hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name. This kind God, oh, have never seen your type. Oh. The long and short of that is he was really giving me the kingdom of God, the hidden treasure in the kingdom of God. You know, after I became an elder and went to Zimbabwe and I went to the elders conference and I looked, you know, at the pictures that they had of him, I realized that the man that I saw in the vision was the same person, only a younger Ezekiel. And he was giving me this treasure in order to make my life better because I was a Christian before. I was doing all kinds of things. I have all kinds of titles. But when I heard about the teaching about the kingdom, I realized that this was the missing link. And so, you know, I joined this church. And um, um, the teaching has really helped me and brought me to another level in my Christianity and my spirituality. I want to just... In, in his memory, I just want to give God thanks for him because he has really impacted me. And, you know, he always said, you know, because I had the opportunity of him praying for me and he felt something and then he talked to me about it. And Ezekiel, a stranger from Africa, also gave me money. You know, and that was so touching to me because not because of the money that he gave because he was a stranger and he was so kind and you know even in my tithing and my offering you know i've really taken the opportunity to tithe because that is also a part of you know the kingdom of god a part of the righteousness that is in the kingdom of god so you begin to look at money in a different way you begin to look at treating people in a different way and i just want to thank god for his memory, thank God for his teaching, thank God for the opportunity of traveling to Zimbabwe. Prior to that, I was denied a U.S. visa, but I went straight to Zimbabwe, you know, to, to Panama, to Brazil, to South Africa, and then to Zimbabwe, the God of Ezekiel. You know what? Um, this is so impactful because Though I was
celebrate the life of a legend obedience is one of the things that he taught us all cell phones switched off we are not allowed to take pictures or to take videos our ushers are ready to take action present worship continue Oh, 
Amen, 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 Amen,
we stand in the presence of the Lord, we are going to request as the bishop is coming through, praise and worship. Sing it. Forward in faith is a chair. going to ask a bishop Schobela to pray. As we all stand, we may bow our heads. I shall pray. Our God and our Father, hallowed be your name. We give you all the glory and the honor for such a day like this. We have gathered here to celebrate your departed great servant whom you loved. The great spiritual icon, the great general of faith, the great captain of faith, the legend of the kingdom of God, the great prophets of prophets, the great world father, and the great apostle. We now hand over this prophetic global celebration unto you. We pray that God, you lead us. We pray that even those who join us through stream life from afar to be blessed of the Lord. Holy Spirit, take over as we give you all the glory and the honor for the great African Apostle. We thank you, Father. Take over. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen and amen. We are welcome to take our seats. Uh, thank you, thank you, South Africa. My name is Pastor Tazen Mashanya Baloy. My name is Pastor Eddie Chizia, and the two of us are going to be the pilots that are going to take you on this journey celebrating the great icon. Massive, massive crowds that have come today, this morning, um, Overseer Eddie. Yes, by six o'clock, people are already singing here and people were already in the auditorium. Intercession was already in place by six o'clock and everybody was geared. The atmosphere had already been steered up and this morning, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you. We welcome you. South Africa, are you there? Are you hearing them, Overseer Eddie? Mm -mm. Not yet. South Africa, are you there? 
Oh, come on, Zanzi, know that the celebrations are going right across the globe. Let's show those that are in America, those that are in Zimbabwe, those that are in Uganda, those that are in China. Let's show them that we are celebrating in this place. Celebrate in this place. Massive crowds uh, over here, Eddie, and uh, people from all walks of life they have come today. Give us a glimpse of what is happening today. Now, Pastor Tazen, we are gathered here for a once in a lifetime encounter. Mm. It's an experience that happens once in a lifetime. Never to be repeated. We are all gathered here, ladies and gentlemen, to celebrate a man born in the year 1923. Right in the remote areas of Zimbabwe. He encountered God at the age of 15 and he heard music in the air mm. and a voice said to him, fear not and sin not. And he carried this seed for 85 years mm. and preached this same seed, mm. planting it right across the world for 75 years. And he gave birth to an iconical ministry mm. that has been in existence for 63 years. 63 years of yes. existence. South Africa, can you shout glory? Mm. And therefore, we are gathered here, my brothers and sisters, not to mourn, but we are gathered here to celebrate a man. Mm. The man, the icon, mm. the man, the myth. The man, the legend, mm. the man, the apostle, Come on the now. man, the prophet, Come on now. the man, the father. He has gathered us here today to celebrate the lifetime of a man who met God before, before he, he met, met a preacher. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you, you can say that again. Bring it, bring it. We are celebrating. We wait, wait, wait. Let's do it together. We are celebrating. Right. A man. A man. That met. That met. God. God. Before. Before. He met a preacher. You and I, the preacher takes us to God. Him, God took him to the preacher. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, it is our great honor this morning to be your MCs. A few housekeeping issues before our VIPs can be welcomed. What do we have in order, Pastor Tazen? Our house rules, number one. May we all switch off our phones in this auditorium. If you don't switch it off, we will take it away. And switch it off for you. That is if we will give it back to you. After this, yes. there are a lot of negotiations that you need to do. That's right. Then number two, yes. our bathrooms on the right side, not your right side, my right side. There are the bathrooms there for the ladies. And on the left side, we have the bathrooms for all males. Right. My brothers and sisters, it is our great honor and privilege this morning to introduce to you the mother in the nation of South Africa, Bishop Priska Soko, as you come to welcome our VIPs. Let's give her a round of applause. Come on, Mzansi. You can do Mzansi. better. Come on, Mzansi. Come on, Mzansi. You can, if you are ready to celebrate, wave your hand. Are you ready to celebrate? Let's welcome our mother, Bishop Priska. Thank you. We may take our seats. Good morning, South Africa. Uh, today is a special occasion of celebrating a great legacy of our father, Archbishop Ezekiel Handinawanguguti. I've been given a task to welcome our VVIP guests who are here today. And before I welcome them, I want to welcome our very own mother, Archbishop Yuna Guti. Mama, we love you. Mama, we thank you for taking care of our father. Mama, we saw you selflessly serving him for all your life. Your great 
calling was not a calling of evangelism. Your great calling was not a calling of an archbishop of a church. God selected you as Yuna Sitole to come and become the wife of our father, Archbishop Ezekiel Handina Wanguguti. Because he saw your heart, the heart of saving. If there are any rewards in heaven, I believe you are going to receive the greatest reward of selflessly saving the man of God. Making sure he eats the good food, making sure his clothes are properly prepared. You are a real true servant of God in the ministry of saving. Yours was a gift of saving, Mama. It's a unique gift. We don't find it anywhere. But we want to say we salute you this morning and we welcome you in this auspicious occasion to say, as we celebrate our father, we say, thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. We may take our seats. We also want to welcome the Guti family who are here today present. We have come to be surrounding our mother. They have been here for the last two weeks uh, surrounding our mother. We want to welcome the whole Guti family. We also want to welcome our father, whom we were given by our father, Archbishop Ezekiel Handina Wango Guti. We want to welcome our father, Apostle Joe Guti. Also, can we applaud as we welcome our father, who is here today, and his wife. We want to welcome you. Thank you for being around our mother. Thank you for comforting our mother. We want to also welcome the Deputy Secretary General of Zayoja Forward in Faith, uh, Apostle Stephen Simukai and his wife, our leader for Go Quickly International Ministries for Women, uh, Dr. Laven Simukai. We want to say thank you for coming. We want to also welcome uh, our father, uh, the senior bishop, the, the brother, the biological brother to the late Archbishop Ezekiel Handina Wangu Guti. We want to welcome Senior Bishop Nelson Guti and his wife who are here present. We want to welcome you. We want to welcome uh, our pastor, Pastor Fiona Arthurs, all the way from United States of America. Also the biological daughter of our father, uh, the late Archbishop Ezekiel Handina Wangu Guti. We want to welcome you, Pastor Fiona. We want to welcome our International Director for Missions, uh, Dr. Dorcas Jaricha, uh, and her husband, who is also here present, Baba Jaricha. We want to say you are welcome in this place today. We want to welcome our uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop uh, uh, Anna Mawoko, the firstborn daughter of our late Archbishop uh, Ezekiel Handina Wangu Guti. We want to say we welcome you, Bishop Anna Mawoko. Uh, we also want to welcome uh, our International Finance Director, uh, Pastor Gracious Chikoret uh, Mutsahuni. We want to also welcome her. She's uh, uh, the daughter of our father, the late father, Archbishop Ezekiel Handina Wangu Guti. We also want to welcome uh, Pastor Caroline uh, Guti, uh, the widow of the late uh, evangelist EJ. Uh, she's here today. Uh, we want to say we love you. South Africa Mzanzi, love you. You are also our murora here. We want to welcome uh, uh, our pastor, Sarah Rusere, also the daughter of the late Archbishop Ezekiel Handina Wango Guti. She's all the way, she's the leader, the director for the prisons ministry of Forward in Faith Church. Welcome, Pastor Sarah. We also want to welcome our uh, Tete, our auntie, the sister, the biological sister, at the only surviving biological sister to the late Archbishop Ezekiel Handina Wangu Guti. Tete Manzo, Munodiwa Pano, Munodiwa Munom South Africa. We love you, Tete. We also want to welcome 
our Mzukuru, who is just sitting next to our Tete, uh, our Zukuru uh, from Zimbabwe, and we grew up together, we call him My Day from Mutare. We want to say we love you, we welcome you here, uh, we love you very much. And our Muzukuru, again, uh, Pastor Cynthia Mawoko, uh, she also was a nurse to our father. She traveled with our father everywhere the, she was, the, he was going. She's actually a, a registered nurse, so she was the one taking care of our father. Cynthia, may God bless you for the great work that you did. <laughs> and uh, going to uh, our invited guests for the ceremony today, we want to also welcome His Excellency Ambassador David Hamaziribi and his wife, Madam Jessica Hamaziribi, the Ambassador for Zimbabwe in South Africa. We welcome you. We also would like to welcome Dr. Elijah Maswangani. We are going to hear him speak uh, during this uh, program. Uh, he is one man who uh, really knows well our father. Uh, and uh, these are the people that have been impacted by the life of the late Archbishop Ezekiel Handina Wangoguti beyond Forward in Faith Church. Uh, we also would like to welcome our bishop, our beloved bishop, Bishop Musa Sono from the Grace Bible Church, uh, the presiding bishop of the Grace Bible Church and his wife. They are here. You're also going to hear him speak during the program. We also would like to welcome Bishop C. Sebastio, Deputy President of the All Africa Bishops Council. It's represented here this morning. We want to also welcome Apostle Victor Mukushwa, uh, a son to Baba Guti, Senior Pastor of Praise Tabernacle Church. We want to welcome you. We also would like to welcome Ambassador Charlie Masala, uh, representing the Miles Monroe family. He was the CEO of the late Miles Monroe, the International Third World Leaders Association, Bahamas Faith Ministries International. We welcome you, Ambassador Charlie Masala. We want to also welcome Bishop S.M. Monareng from Bethel Revival Church. We also want to welcome Bishop S. Moshuel from Grace Revival Center. We also want to welcome Bishop M.J. Baloi Celebration Christian Center. There is a great cloud of witness around us this morning. A great cloud of witness. We would like to also welcome our Bishop, Bishop Mkolisi Lipoko, and Mother Ofenche Lipoko, founders of the Church on the Hill Ministry in South Africa. We welcome you. We also would like to welcome Bishop Chunga and Amai Chunga from Zayoja Forward in Faith in Botswana. We want to also welcome Bishop Pilile and the delegation that has come from Swaziland. Welcome, Zayoja Forward in Faith in Swaziland. We'd like to also welcome Prophet Bronze Lutuli and Prophetess Zianda Lutuli, founders of Olivet Apostolic Ministries International. You are welcome. Uh, Apostles, uh, Prophet Lutuli and his wife, they requested to see Baba in Zimbabwe during COVID when there was rest restrictions of COVID. They insisted they needed to go and see him physically. These are prophets of God in South Africa looking for the great anointing from the late Archbishop Ezekiel Handina Wangoguti. We want to also welcome Apostles Charles and Juliana Magaisa of El Shaddai World Ministries. You are welcome in this place. 
We want to uh, also acknowledge the presence of Apostle Dr. Alexander Chisango and his wife, Mama Florence Chisango, of the World Economic Congress. He's also the former chairman of the Evangelical Fellowship of Zimbabwe. You are welcome. <laughs> We'd like to also welcome Apostle Talent Magidi and pastors Dr. James Magidi from Dunamis Revival Ministries. These are children of Baba Guti running their own ministry. We want to also welcome Pastor Michael Howe from his image, Bible Church, representing the church today. We welcome you. We want to also welcome Apostles Bethel and Catherine Guarimbo of King King's Life Covenant Church and their entourage that have come this morning. Thank you and God bless you. I would like to hand over this time uh, to the program directors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's give a round of applause to Bishop Priska. You can do better, South Africa, you can do better. Let's give a round of applause to Bishop Priska. Ladies and gentlemen, the man that we are gathered here for wrote more than 113 books. And one of the books is this book, History of Zayoja Forward in Faith. Someone calls it the Testament. Don't worry about his name. He calls it the Testament. He wrote in this book on page 20. This ministry is not going to come to an end. You didn't hear me. This ministry is not going to come to an end. Why is it not coming to an end? God will raise. Can someone say raise? God will raise many young people. Let's put a comma there. God will raise many young people. So you are going to see acts or ministries that are going to be performing today. There are just a few of the ministries that our father founded with our mother. So they are going to come in this order. Tambourine ministry, then KMD, then youth, then single women, then go quickly, then men of integrity. You have three minutes each to showcase and be a testimony of what our father has put in us. But you are going to use this ground on my right. Don't worry about coming here. You are already up when you are here. You are already up. So praise and worship, can you come up? Give us a peace. Are you ready to celebrate South Africa? Just three minutes. If you are a daughter and a son of Baba Kuti, can you rise up? Three minutes. All ministries, three minutes. Praise and worship. Give us a celebration song. Thank you. You will be on my right. All acts on my right. Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Ah, he's the Yakutamba. He no pamba na me ya mushene. Ah, he's the Yakutamba. He no pamba na me ya mushene. Wait, 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 wait,
gentlemen let's have our seats and let's enjoy the tambourine ministry thank you Tambourine dance, thank you, thank you. We are now going to have our kingdom dance. 
These are what we call Baba Guti's favorite friends. Favorite. Kini chomi tanta te Guti. Hali babo na baliso. Kini chomi. Ne ba choma na linta te Guti. We continue to encourage phones to be switched off, cell phones switched off. Spirit. for our KMD, the Kingdom Dancer. Youth, youth, get ready. <laughs> only one person on the stage, youth, Youth, only one person. Only one person on the stage. Hundred years of grace. Oh. God bless Ezekiel. Seventy-five years of preaching the gospel. Non-stop. Hundred years of grace. Oh. God bless Ezekiel. Seventy-five years of preaching the gospel. Non-stop. If you see me singing, I'm singing by the grace of God. God of Ezekiel, Ezekiel is my master. If you see me dancing, me dancing by the grace of God. 
God of Ezekiel, Ezekiel is my master. If you see us driving, we're driving by the grace of God. God of Ezekiel. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kingdom, 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 kingdom. Kingdom of Russia, kingdom of Russia, kingdom of Russia, kingdom of Russia. Parachute, yeah. 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 parachute, Testament, so Kubega Sibang am a disciple of our father according to 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 Ngabonga our God is a very good God. Amen. Our Father said that this forward in faith ministry is not going to die. But many young Ezekiels will continue. We are here as young Ezekiels. We are here holding on to the teachings. Young Ezekiels are all. are the young Ezekiel's they have got energy let's welcome the single women let's welcome the single women as our youth are taking their seats thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen thank you thank you thank you thank you South Africa, Silocani, South Africa, Silocani, Tairoi, Tairoi, Silocani, Musingili, Musingili, 
Song first. Thank you, Pastor. You go by Minani Mitwi. And it is what would you need to see? Kuna Mayama Kama, Baba Kutiba, Fampa Massing. What are you saying? Okay, men of God. Interpret quickly. We are saying, Baba Kuti, wherever you used to go, you used to go with the single ladies' prayers. Right. Two seconds. Let's go. Baba Kutiba, Baba Mona. You have one minute. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We want to thank uh, the Lord very much for such a wonderful celebration. Uh, our father has gone, but he never left us like that. As a single we were women, we were taught to be a well-rounded single woman. A woman who doesn't sleep all over the show. A woman who doesn't have a bed everywhere, but who is standing with God, keeping the children through the grace of God. He gave us this book that is guide us as a single women. Amen. At the tambourine dance. Now can we have uh, go quickly? <laughs> tambourine ministry prepare. Those were tambourine dancers. Go quickly prepare and men of integrity prepare. Only one person on stage, please. Thank you. The rest you are already on stage. Dr. Lavenu will forgive us, but you, all of you, you are on stage. The lean on the stage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, MC. Okay. Okay. Go quickly. Wait. Okay. Okay. Before we sing, before we sing, please remain where you are. May we remain where we are. That's Before what our we mother, sing. Bishop yeah, P, is saying, go quickly, let's remain where we are. Those of us who are already at the front, don't lean against the stage. Please. Go quickly, you are well represented. Don't lean against the stage. On behalf of and Bishop... Please don't stand on top of the red carpet this side. If you are already on the red carpet, it means there is no space for you. You are allowed to move a bit back. Thank you. On behalf of Bishop Priska, our national mother, we as go quick, we as 
SA Go Quickly would like to thank God for the opportunity that God gave us to have our father, Archbishop, Professor, Apostle, Ezekiel Handina Wangu Guti, our spiritual father, our icon. As women, we have learned to be submissive women to their husbands, to love our children and raise them in a godly way. Through our father's teachings on talents, our lives have been raised to another level. As we speak, we can proudly say businesses have been established mm. and how Houses. and houses and cars have been bought through working with our own hands because of Baba's obedience. Glory be to God. Indeed, the spirit of poverty has been eradicated Amen. through the school of talents. Yes. The powerful teaching about working our characters mm. and having a good heart, mm. not to pray for our father, yet having bad heart and bad character as ladies, has shown us the correct way of worshipping God with a clean heart, especially fasting and praying the correct way using Isaiah 58. Mm. We have seen a great change in our lives and characters we are better off than before. Baba's teachings have impacted the lives of women and made us to be better women. Above all, to be praying women. This has made our lives to change and the seed of prayer has impacted our lives. Archbishop Yuna Guti, us as SA women, we want to thank you for being our role model, our mentor. <laughs> we have seen how you were submissive and respectful to Baba. We thank you for setting a good example for us. Archbishop Yuna, our mother, we want to thank you for the excellent work that you have done all these years for taking good care of our father, Archbishop Ezekiel. We really appreciate the splendid work that you have done. We would like to thank God for the opportunity that God gave us to be with our father powerful teachings that he has left for us, we have something to follow. Mari wababa kutuyu Thank you, thank you. Go quickly. Wave as you are sitting. You are looking good. Yeah, wave as you are sitting. Men of integrity, come. Then tambourine ministry, get ready. Men of integrity. Sheva Rumea Shinete. We are counting down two and a half. On your marks, get set. We are men of integrity. On your marks, get set. 
We are men of integrity. On your marks, on your marks, get set, get set. We are men of integrity. On your marks, get set, get set. We are on your marks, on your marks, get set, get set. We speak much 30 seconds okay on behalf of the father of the nation archbishop Elias Zuelipani Soko we want to appreciate God as men of integrity in the Republic of South Africa that our father left us a legacy two words men must lead Men must think. We are ready to lead and think to impact generations upon generations that the Lord will bring in forward in faith ministry. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Men of integrity. As yes, you are saying, legacy. Yeah. Men must lead. Men must lead. Men must go. Men must go. Men must go. Are you there, ladies? Men must go. Let's go. Thank you. Ah, now we're going to Tamaya. We're going to Tamaya. Thank you. Tambourine Ministry. Where are you, Tambourine Ministry? Come, come, come. As men are thinking and going. Welcome, 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 Tambourine Ministry. Men are thinking and going. We give 
glory to God the Father. You are so good, and your mercy is forever. We give glory, glory. to God the Father. Let's clap hands for the tambourine ministry. Okay, tambourine ministry, can we call you again later? Thank you. Let's clap hands for tambourine ministry. Thank you. How many of us are still in a celebratory mood? Come on, Mzansi, let's show America, let's show China, let's show India, let's show Zimbabwe. But we are celebrating the legends. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, at this moment in time, my brothers and sisters, it is my privilege and honor to introduce to you the award winning gospel artist from South Africa, Dr. Tumi. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Archbishop Noguti, Archbishop Soko, it's such a privilege for us to be with you this morning. And I honor all the servants of God who are in this place and all the saints. Amen. I hope you sing along because I didn't come to sing alone. Is that okay? Say, we love you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We lay our lives before your throne. We love you, Jesus, help me sing. We love you, Lord. We adore, we adore you, Lord. We 
lay our lives, we lay our lives before your throne. There is none beside you, Lord, no, none beside you, Lord, no other God but you. We lay our lives before your throne. There is none beside you, Lord, no, none beside no other God. We lay our lives, we lay our lives before your throne. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We adore you. We adore you, Lord. We lay our lives before your throne. There is none besides you, Lord, no, none besides no other God, no other God but you. We lay our lives, we lay our lives before your throne. Say you are here, and you said you'd never leave, we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. See, you are here. And you said, and you said you'd never. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord.